Now, we are joined by an actor who screams the word versatile. Well, I mean, we're doing it for him. He <laughs> hasn't come in screaming today. His career has spanned almost 45 years. Phil Davis is among the cream of British character actors, starring as Chalky in Quadrophenia and, more recently, D.S. Miles in Whitechapel and Judd, of course, in Poldark. And today he's uh, joining us to tell us about uh, his latest role. It's the new comedy film Golden Years, which hits UK cinemas this Friday. And it's lovely to see you. It Good looks you. great. Yeah, it's very funny. It's a romp. It's in the tradition of Ealing comedies, you know, there's a group of folk, none of them in the first flush of youth, yeah. and their pensions have gone down, there's trouble with illnesses, and so they set about robbing some banks. But they do it in a very polite way. There's I mean, no, no bad language. No bad language, no swearing. No one gets hurt. please and thank you. Their gun is a, a cucumber wrapped in a tea towel. Right. And, uh, and, um, and you know, the, the big question is, will they get away with it or will they spend their last years in the clink? <laughs> so like everyone else is retired and you're the youngest. I'm the youngest, for once, yes. I'm still working. I, uh, my character is still working. He built the thing that they fire at the... Because he's a metal campus. worker. He's a metal worker, yes. But the rest of them are, are in retirement. And he is best friends to Arthur. Yes. And Arthur and Martha are the, basically the bosses. They're in charge of all They're this. The their ideal. Yes, they're and there they are, and there they are. And he wasn't that convinced to begin with, was he? No, no, he he's sure. essentially an honest man, and uh, and, and he took him by surprise when he found out that Arthur and Martha had been rubbing banks. <laughs> but um, he, they, they, they explained why they were doing it and the reasons behind it, and so he reluctantly at first joined in, but then uh, he found he had a taste for it. Yeah, and was quite good at it. Not bad By all, all accounts. Not it's a hell of a cast as yes, well, it is, isn't it? Yes, it is. Virginia McKenna, it was her first film for 15 years, I think she came out wow. at the time. How, did you, how did you coax her out? What made, what made her want to come out after all that time? Well, I guess it was the script. I mean, it was, uh, you know, a, a funny kind of romp and a nice film to do. Uh, for me, it was, it was great pleasure because I was working with Bernard Hill, who I last worked with in 1983, and Simon Callow I was in the theatre with in the early 80s. So a lot of old friends, and Mark Williams, of course, is a pal of mine. So it was, it was, it was great fun. So when you all g get together on on set, I'm assuming that must really be quite a pleasant experience. There was a very nice atmosphere on the set. Yes, yeah, it was very uh, unprecious and uh, a great deal of fun. Yeah. And written, co-written by Nick Knowles. Yes. Yes. I had no idea that he was into script writing. Nor did I. In fact, I have to uh, own up. I didn't recognise his name on the script. Nick Knowles could be anyone. And you don't usually meet the writer. And then there was this chap loitering around on the set, and I thought, I recognise him from someone. Of course, it was SOS. <coughs> yeah. And, uh, and I said, what are you doing here? And he said, I wrote it. I said, oh, did you? I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he was also a producer on the film, so... Uh, he was. Uh, well, this is, a, this is a whole new talent. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I had no he's idea that he was doing that. it. No. Yeah, yeah, he's going to write another one now. Is he? And clearly very good at it as yes. well. Yeah. And, right. uh, and I mean, you are as versatile um, as uh, as always because you've got Undercover as well. Mm -hmm. um, Very so... good. And you also, you've finished filming, but we'll be seeing in autumn, of course, Pulled Up. Pulled Up, yes. And Judd is coming back. And you, again, with this, we wouldn't possibly want to spoil it for anybody what happens, but he does get himself into a bit of trouble in the new series. He does, yes. Yeah, so I'm worried that my pecs might, might uh, oh, show, him up. show him up a yeah. bit. Yes, yeah. yes. No, you're quite right. You're quite right. <laughs> yes, uh, Judd, um, uh, he gets bribed into being a prosecution witness at Ro Ross's trial, so uh, uh, much trouble in store. But he's right. still uh, still fond of the drink and oh, outrageous. He's incorrigible and drunk most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> if he's awake, he's drunk. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when, when you look Listen. at your um, your body of work, all the, all the things that you've done, you seem to have ticked all of the boxes. Are there any boxes for you that you haven't ticked? Well, there are a few, of course. I mean, you know, lots of types of characters out there and, so, uh, and a lot of which I haven't played and I've never done a Shakespeare play. So uh, Ask for some Shakespeare. That's something, but I, I feel I, it might be too late for me. I don't want to be standing really? in the corner saying Why? what news my liege from France and I'm probably to take on King Leo if you've never done a Shakespeare play before, <laughs> it might be a bit much. So but, well, we'll wait and see who but knows. Did the, but oh, did the, the, the powers that organise these sorts of things, I mean, you know, the Maracis just down the road here, do they, do they know that you want to do that? Uh, I, I, I'll pop in on the way home. Well, <laughs> you've said it out loud now. <laughs> yeah, so they'll find out. Now. But is it one of those things that you have said, I would really, I really like to do this? No, in truth it isn't. And I don't do a lot of theatre. I'm doing a play next in Chichester, a lovely play called um, First Light by Mark Hayhurst about the First World War. But I don't do much. Mm. Most of my work is on television and film. Mm. And is there a character that you sort of is special to you throughout the years that you kind of go, mm, yeah, that was the one? Oh, they're like children. I love them all, you know. But, yeah, uh, hard to uh, There's a few, you know. Um, 
um, uh, Small Weed in Bleak House was a was a favourite, and um, uh, and in Mike's film, uh, Mike Lee's film, um, uh, Vera Drake, Stanley Drake, yeah, and that yeah. character I was very fond of. Do people still shout Chalky at you from all the time? <laughs> all the time. I'm talking about today, yeah. which looks, as we said, yeah, it looks does. fabulous. It's Golden Years, and it's out this Friday. Thank and you. And Friday, and all the Odeon cinemas. So Thank you go very and much. see it. Thank, Thank you. Phil. you. Thank you.